guys, welcome to my channel Sarika Tutorials. Today we are starting with a new chapter that is Molecular Basis of Inheritance. This is the second chapter in the unit of Genetics and Evolution. Guys, this is our today's video Molecular Basis of Inheritance. If you like this video, or if you are new to the channel, please like and share the button please like and share the button. In this chapter, we will discuss about the DNA molecules its structure, its various types and the types of RNA and later on we will also discuss about that why DNA is considered as a genetic material. Scientists have done a lot of experiments which have been proven that DNA is a genetic material. Later on we will discuss about DNA replication, transcription and then operon. Now we will discuss about the characteristic of the genetic material, why it is considered as a genetic material and which si properties it will exhibit. So let's go to it. First property of the genetic material is that it should be able to replicate. This is replicate to replicate because we know that the genetic material is transferred to parents and offspring. Mein transfer hoti hai, to जब replication होता है, यानि कि जब cell division होता है, तो उस time replication होना जरूरी होता है. Second property is that, that it should show stable mutation and this mutation should be inheritable. और जिसे कि evolution में इसका कोई significant role नहीं होता है. And third property is that, that it should be able to transform the information by transcription. जैसा कि हम जानते हैं, DNA से जब messenger RNA बनता है, तो वो transcription के थ्रू बनता है, और फिर जब messenger RNA से protein बनता है, तो वो translation के कारण होता है। Now we will discuss about the nucleic acid. Nucleic acids are the two types, that is DNA and RNA. DNA is the deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is the ribonucleic acid. DNA में क्या हम जानते हैं कि DNA double helix होता है और RNA single helix होता है। DNA eukaryotes में ज़्यादा present होता है और RNA prokaryotes में ज़्यादा present होता है। Nucleic acid was discovered by Frederick Mesher in 1869 and he observed this material in the pus cell. So the Frederick called it name that is nucleon. Later on, the Altman in 1889, he named a term that is nucleic acid. Because when the last experiment was done, he found this substance as acidic. In the report, this was an acidic substance. So, he called this nucleic acid. Now, we will talk about where the genetic material is present, where it is formed. So, the genetic material is first of all, we know that it is two types. पहला DNA और दूसरा RNA. DNA कहाँ कहाँ present होता है? तो DNA हम present पाते हैं कहाँ? Nucleus में, cytoplasm में और cell organelles में. और RNA की बात हम करेंगे तो RNA हमें ज़्यादातर present मिलता है cytoplasm. तो guys ये थी हमारे आज के वीडियो. आपको ये वीडियो कैसा लगा? आप comment box में ज़रूर बताएँ और मेरे वीडियो को like, share और subscribe ज़रूर करें. Thank you.